So in June, Lauren Shutter and myself, we sat down with Denise Mayfield from Compassion Katie, and Denise walked through with Lauren and I about Feed the Hunger and the Hope Hackathon. What I was really excited about with, with Lauren with me there is that Lauren has been on the receiving end of the packathon. So she's been in Haiti when they've actually received the food. Lauren was very excited as well. And when we got through talking with Denise, there was no doubt in my mind that we were going to be a part of it. It was just how much of it would we be a part of. And uh, I want to kind of play it safe and do one station of 25. And Lauren kind of had this sly look to herself when I asked her what she thought. She said two. I think it can push us that we can invite friends. So I did the pastoral thing. I said, let's pray about it. I went and talked to our PAT, and uh, all of us uh, just felt that Lauren's challenge was the thing that we needed to do. So yesterday, I'm sitting down. I'm, I'm printing off uh, more flyers. We passed out about Feed the Hunger uh, on Sunday, and Lauren sends me a text, and it says, we filled every spot. Think about that, guys. We filled every spot. 50 spots. Our church has about 40 adults and 34, I believe, are, are going to be a part of the Packathon on the 19th. So we have some kids thrown in there and guests. So friends that you have invited and the people in your C2s have invited are coming and being a part of this Packathon with us. So praise God for, for uh, Lauren Shutter and just uh, her being sensitive to the Spirit's nudging and just for our people for stepping forward when asked and really coming through. And uh, so with, with that, I, I tell you, you know, we had this big, this wig, this wildly important goal of growing our adults from 40 to 80 in our C2s. And I know our traction has been slow. But see what God is doing a work, and I can see Him doing a work in y'all. I've had conversations with people who have said, "I'm now actually having a my five. Uh, others who have said, "I'm I'm beginning to uh, actually talk to people like at the library and so forth." So conversations are being had. Things are happening since um, September. This these are all the guests that we have had come through our church, and so last Sunday, if you were here with us. Rather than being asking, hey, where, where you, you know, how'd you hear about a church? We had one say Acts 29. We had one say our sign. Uh, we had a family uh, that came for, with friends. Liz Owen, uh, she has intentionally gone to the uh, library in Old Katy and uh, has been a part of the, of the reading time. And she's gotten to know one of the ladies. It was... Um, Lori C. And so Daniel, Daniel and Lori came and, and they'll be back. And so it's just, it's great that, that God is just doing a work in the midst of us. So keep it up. Be, keep being faithful in your prayers and just leading your sheep, getting them to God's word, letting God's word get in our people so that action comes. Uh, last, we have kind of one more opportunity with Katie Parks and Rec before this 2016 and over, and that is the 7th Annual uh, Acadie Old Fashioned Christmas Festival that will be held on Saturday, December the 3rd. It has down on it 11 to 7. Um, there's, a, there's, a, there's, there's a snow park that will be from noon to 5. Santa will be there from noon to 4. The tree lighting at, at night will happen uh, between 6 and 7 o'clock at, at night. They're going to have the beer garden out there. There's going to be vendors, food trucks. This is a great time to begin talking to your C2 and say, Hey, who can we invite? Um, uh, this is a good third environment. This is one of those ways... Uh, that we can just keep the traction and keep pushing um, the ball down the field. And so, anyway, I thank God for all of you each and every day. And just uh, just thankful for what God is doing right now in our church. So, good job, guys. And uh, just thanks be to God and praise to Him. So, glad we're on the journey together.